Welcome, everybody, to the Paul Gorham Head Coaches Show. I'm Randy Brochu with the football head coach here at Sacred Heart, Paul Gorham. Pioneers getting set for their third game of the year. They'll take on the Dartmouth Big Green of the Ivy League. Uh, before we look forward, just looking back on uh, what you are looking to improve on from the Bryant game. I know that Jordan Brown had an unbelievable game for the Bulldogs, yet you still had some good play from some linebackers, namely Justin Embler, who had 11 tackles, five for a loss, including a sack. But Jordan Brown uh, had had quite a day. What did you see? Let's start with the defense uh, as far as what you'd like to see improved upon next week. Uh, well, <clears throat> first of all, Justin's a defensive lineman for us and did have an outstanding game and, you know, showed up all the time to the point where the head coach wanted to seek him out at the end of the game and, and talk to him about his play and thought he did real well. And, and um, you know, from us, certainly uh, from a defensive perspective, uh, you know, this, the elimination of the big plays, a, a kid rushes for 260 yards, uh, obviously, uh, with a focus being put on him uh, for the week and trying to shut him down and force him into the throw game and, and the inability to do that is, is very frustrating. Uh, he's definitely a quality football player, but uh, not Gail Sayers, and, and uh, we certainly made him look that way. On the other side of the ball, the offense uh, really didn't quite get into the rhythm that I, I think they had hoped to. Third down conversions was uh, uh, an issue, but what do you have to do to get better? What kind of things need to go into the uh, offensive work this week at, at practice to ride it against Dartmouth? Uh, typically when you're th that poor on, on third down and fourth as we were, uh, it, it's a product of, of how you are on first down. And, and we haven't been great in the first two games. On first down to get us into workable situations where we're able to uh, – you know, complete a high percentage uh, on third down, and and uh, so we got to get better on first down in order to improve on third and fourth. Um, you know, and, and we, uh, looking at the game a couple of times and, and watching it with the quarterbacks, and um, you know, went on off by much. You know, we got one hand on a ball, and or they they uh, you know played a little cover one and made some decent plays on some balls that would have extended drives and, and gotten us into uh, <clears throat> you know the red zone where we get four down opportunities, and then. Uh, certainly the special teams aspect of it, letting the game get away from us where it became a two and three score game, uh, forces you into some some fourth downs that you probably would have kicked uh, down in the red zone and taken a field goal uh, or not even have gone for uh, to begin with. So it's uh, uh, it really goes back to, to first down. We've got to be more more efficient on first down um, to put us in better situations in those third and fourth down situations. You know, PG, you just mentioned that you weren't too far off, that you know some receivers maybe had their hands on balls. I know Rich Rossi was a target uh, throughout the game, and they just didn't quite connect with Tim Little. Tim Little got the start after splitting time with Luke Wisnowski. Is it just a matter of getting comfortable and getting on the same page with some veteran receivers for the younger quarterback? Uh, it was a little bit of a product of, of the quarterback and the receiver. You know, we had to uh, identify coverage a little bit better. We you know we're running zone routes uh, versus man, and uh, the kids got to recognize that a little bit sooner and, and change up uh, what they're doing and their techniques, um, and, and get off a little bit cleaner off the line of scrimmage. And um, but you know, really, it's uh, not a coordination thing. We throw with them all the time, and, and uh, uh, there's no. Another two games is not going to make a difference in that. Uh, we just got to be a little bit more efficient and get the ball in his hands and, and let them both make plays. Okay, the Dartmouth Big Green coming to town. Uh, you played a really thrilling, ultimately frustrating game against them last year up in Hanover, New Hampshire. Um, came down to a field goal, but you played them very tough throughout uh, you know, the majority of that game. What do you know about them from last year and from the film this year? Uh, very sound football team, a uh, lot of experience. Uh, certainly on defense, looking at them, they got a lot of juniors and seniors starting for them. So they played a lot of uh, <clears throat> played a lot of football. And and um, you know, last year we didn't play against their their better running back, the kid Schweigert, or Schweigert, uh that is coming back this year. And and he's a dynamic kid uh, along the lines of the kid we played last weekend. And uh, an experienced quarterback coming back, and, a, and another dynamic receiver. Um, very good in the return game. The kid blew off. Um, you know, a Florida kid that we had recruited out of high school uh, is kicking and punt returner for him. It's dynamic. So um, we're going to have to play very, very well. And as we did at times last year, you know, we got sloppy with the penalties uh, and then ultimately missed a field goal to win it late. Um, but hopefully we got to clean some things up on our side and um, keep us into the game and try and win it in the fourth quarter. Well, finally, Coach, uh, it is homecoming weekend this weekend at Campus Field. And, you know, a win is a win, whether it's in the Super Bowl at G Gillette Stadium or if it's on the backyard playground. But is there a sense to get that first win that among the uh, 
among the team, especially the leaders, that they'd really like to get it done this weekend in front of alumni, in front of their home fans here at home at Campus Field? Yeah, you would like to think so, um, but we've had that motivation, you know, open, uh, opening week here and then, you know, the night TV game, uh, you know, our attitude was sound last week. It just uh, our execution was poor and in and, uh, and one phase in particular. So um, if we can get those things cleaned up and they just keep playing the way they have with their, you know, attitudinally and just being aggressive and, and getting after it a little bit, some things are going to break for us and, uh, and hopefully get that first win this weekend. All right, thanks a lot, PG. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Paul Gorham, head coach of the Sacred Heart Pioneer football team. Pioneers looking for that first win. Here in their third game of the season, they host Dartmouth Saturday afternoon at 1.